What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel guys and in today's video I'm going to be talking about England's last game that we went and played Sweden in the quarterfinals guys. Yes guys, you've heard it, we're in the bloody semi-finals. Come on, football's coming home. So let's just crack on in today's video. So the starting 11 was unchanged from the last game against Colombia. Let's talk about the starting 11. So we started with Pickford. Trippier, Walker, Stones, Maguire, Young, Henderson, Lingard, Ali, Sterling and Kane. So that's the starting eleven that we started with. Yeah, so overall reaction. Now, obviously, um, as you guys are aware, England went and beat Sweden two goals to nil. I'm absolutely buzzing after this game because this game has just brought England another step forward into going towards the final now. This World Cup has been getting better and better every single time. All the big teams have been crashing out now. Brazil have crashed out, Germany have crashed out, Spain have crashed out. This World Cup is potentially England's. If we buckle down now, the next two games, obviously the next game is obviously Croatia in the semi-finals. If we beat Croatia, we're obviously in the finals and obviously that's going to be one of the biggest achievements that we've done in absolutely ages. So yeah, let's actually get into the actual overall reaction itself. So first half, we didn't start the half well once again. I think it, it was a bit of a slow start. And I think the first 25 minutes were a little bit nervous. I think we made potentially a few mistakes where we gave away possession a bit. Deli Ali was giving away possession a bit. It's unfortunate for that to happen, but obviously, again, it's just the nerves that are kicking in. We were composed at the back. We were in control of the game. We had most of the possession. We were dominating Sweden. Uh, we were all around Sweden. I felt like we could have got a few more goals up on Sweden instead of just 2-0. Felt like it should have been at least 5-0 in this game, to be fair. We should have absolutely done Sweden. First half was a good half, uh, but just a few errors now and there. Second half, a little bit better. Uh, obviously, we got a goal, uh, two great goals from Dele Alli. We scored two great goals by Maguire and Dele Alli, both on headers. One was on a corner and one was on a on a great cross by Lingard. I can't be happier. I can't believe how far England have got now. Everyone is just over the moon and buzzing of where we are right now. Gareth Southgate knows the team well. He's been doing everything. The team has to keep on believing. The winning momentum is just brilliant. We never give up. We keep going. We don't stop. And the, the football that we're playing right now is just absolutely brilliant. The boys are doing a fantastic job. What more do you want? Great win against Sweden. Like we were talking about a couple of videos ago where I was talking about the draw. Uh, this has come out really well for us. And if we get to the finals, I'll be over the moon with these boys. The boys are doing absolutely fantastic. If we keep our heads up high, keep what we're doing, keep going, it's coming home. It's coming home, lads. Let's just get into the game. Let's just talk about more of the game and analyse the game. So England had a slow start. We sort of start the game where we sat back a bit and sort of let Sweden into our half. So that was where the nerves were kicking in a bit. Yeah, we let Sweden in our half. Sweden had a good start, I must admit. Pickford had to pull off some really great saves, honestly. With Joe Hart being not... Uh, the goalkeeper of this World Cup. Pickford has stepped up and he's been pulling off some tremendous saves in this game. I had to give someone a man of the match. I would have to give it Jordan Pickford in this game because Jordan Pickford, he absolutely blown my mind after this game, after that performance. So we just sort of let Sweden into our half. They were all around our half for the first 10 minutes or so. And then England just kept on giving away possession like I was saying. England were feeling nervous in the first 25 minutes so that was where the, uh, the nerves were kicking in. We had to be sort of, we just had to calm Calm down, you have to be composed, don't rush it, just keep going. Once we let Sweden into the game, England then started to get our act together. So obviously then Gareth Southgate must have been, he was clapping the players, motivating the players. He was there on the touchline, motivating the players to keep going, keep doing what you do, need to do, what we've talked about in recent games. We do this, we do that. England then increased the tempo. We were then moving quicker, the movement was good. Looking more sharper on the ball. So we weren't all sluggish, we weren't sloppy, we weren't lazy from, from the first 10-15 minutes of the half where we let Sweden into our half. We needed to start putting the pressure back on Sweden and that's what we exactly did. We just had to create more chances in this game. I think I felt like this game for England we just had to be patient uh, for the goals to come. Henderson has been putting in some great balls to the likes of Trippier and Ashley Young out wide. 
with this formation that has been working recently, uh, he's, he's never going to switch to a different system or switch to a different formation. He's going to keep this formation throughout the rest of the World Cup. He's going to keep going until anything comes up. If we put the work in day in and day out, train our socks off in the next couple of days, we could potentially beat Croatia. If we keep doing what we need to do, we just need to be on top of it. We were then coming back into the game, slowly but surely. We kept going as a team. The first goal came. Great corner by Trippier. Maguire gets up and heads it into the goal for 1-0. After that, I was absolutely buzzing. Fans back in here in the UK were absolutely buzzing. Fans in Russia were absolutely buzzing. So it then actually then lightened up the atmosphere in the stadium, So which I was happy about because then the England fans were chanting. England fans have been non-stop in Russia. And, you know applaud uh, the England fans that are in Russia right now. You're doing a great job in Russia. Keep up winning mentality for England uh, while I'm here in the UK. Can't really manage to get a ticket, obviously, to get to Russia, but I don't think I'll be able to get to Russia, uh, unfortunately, this year. But England had Sweden on the front foot, then just kept on going. We were dominating. We we're all around Sweden. We were dominating Sweden. We we're all around them. We had them on the front foot. We were then getting uh, players up the pitch, high up the pitch. Sterling did some great runs, but he just fluffed a chance. But unfortunately, uh, the first one, he was offside. Once again, Sterling had another chance. Uh, this time, he was onside. All he had to do it was pass it instead of just being selfish. Like the guy, but the thing is, he should have passed it. Why did he not pass it to Harry Kane? And then he would have put it in the back of the net for 2-0. It's just common sense and he was just being selfish going all the way and not passing it. You've got to be better on these these chances and we got so close and all he had to do was just pass it. But no, he just wanted to go all the way and he just wanted to shoot and it went, he fluffed it. He fluffed the first chance, but the second chance, he bottled it again. So this guy needs to be told, pass it. Don't be selfish, pass it. If you see someone, pass it. Don't be selfish. Just pass it onto somebody else and somebody will just on the end of it and it will be in the back of their net. Overall, good half. Second half, you need to keep putting the pressure. You need to keep um, putting Sweden on the front foot. When we have Sweden on the front foot, we need to create more chances, get more crosses into the box. We need to take our chances and try and score on them. And if someone is outside the box, just have a crack at goal. And you never know where it's going to go, obviously. Sweden, again, started the half well. They straight away created chances. Once they started creating chances early into the second half, it was then a punishment for the defence. You know, some of the defenders were a bit lazy in times because obviously they didn't expect what Sweden were going to do, but they should have been more aware what was going to happen uh, at the start of the second half. After that, we then had... Sweden on the front foot once again. We then put the pressure back on Sweden. Uh, England were all around Sweden. We were trying everything and throwing everything at it, really. Uh, there was times where we got on the attack and Sweden came back on the counter-attack. So whenever England was on the counter-attack, Sweden would then respond get back on the counter-attack and put the pressure back on England. And then all that pressure's on the defence. Uh, the defence, I must say, it's been absolutely brilliant recently. Keep up the good job, uh, Maguire, Stones and Walker. Keep what you needed to do. Obviously, we're playing five at the back and it's working as well. The system's working, the formation's working. So keep up this good job, lads. And it's up here. Mindset was good. We just have to keep going, lads. Keep going, keep on top of it. And you never know, we could get to the finals. Sweden, we're getting close at goal. Pickford managed to pull off some great saves. Honestly, Pickford, mate, you're absolutely playing. I must say, Pickford played absolutely brilliant in this game. Save after save, he was just brilliant, you know? The last couple of games has been brilliant. Obviously, it's a shame that he's let a goal or two. But at the end of the day, we got a clean sheet in this game. And that's what I'm really happy about. We keep a clean sheet for once. We're going into the semi-finals with a full of confidence. So are Croatia. And I'm looking forward to this battle with Croatia. England kept going as a team. The next thing you know it, second goal, Trippier passed it to Lingard. Lingard put in a great cross, sees Ali at the back post and Dali Ali finishes it off for 2-0. After that, I was absolutely buzzing. Everyone was absolutely buzzing here back in the UK and also the fans in Russia as well. After that, England put on some fresh legs. Ali came off for Delft. Now we're going to be talking about Dali Ali's performance. Now I think Dali Ali's performance in this game was a, a lot better uh, to the game against Colombia. He was a lot more sharper in this game. 
compared to the one against Colombia. He was injured. He had a bit of a knock when he was playing against Colombia, obviously. But coming into this game, he was a lot more sharper. He was moving quicker, so he was a lot more fitter. So that's what we wanted to see. It's good that he's also got the goal for England and it's a good boost. So we've got some really good, talented play young players. So if we keep on top of this England, we could be going to the finals. Bring it on, lads. Henderson came off for Dyer. Honestly, Henderson has been playing some great games recently. He's been all over the place. He's been putting up some great balls to Ashley Young and Trippier and keep doing what you need to do. At the end of the day, it hopefully click for us. After that, Sweden had a few more chances at goal. Again, Pickford had to pull off some great saves. Sterling came off for Rashford. Sterling's performance was okay. Again, just a little bit selfish, but he needs to learn to sort of pass onto the ball. You can't be that selfish and going all the way. You need to pass the ball, mate. What England needed to hear was the final whistle. Clean sheet done. Victory done. We're on to the semi-finals now against Croatia. Bring it on. Croatia are a very good team. They've got the likes of Modric, Perisic, Manusic. This game is going to be another tough test. It's going back to the Colombia game. Honestly, I think this game's probably going to go to another penalty shootout. If we keep doing what we needed to do and keep our heads down, keep focusing. And we've got another win under our belt against Sweden. So if we keep that winning mentality going, keep going as a team, you never know. And we could beat Croatia. There's actually Croatian fans saying that I've been supporting Croatia so far and they think that England's going to do it. I honestly think England can do it. I mean, good record against Croatia so if we do Croatia I'll be absolutely over the moon I'll be buzzing all the English fans back here at home will be happy and also the fans in Russia will be happy so we've got to keep on top of it and uh, at the end of the day we've got to hope it clicks for us yeah just let the best team win anything can happen and uh, yeah hope you guys have enjoyed another video be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new see you guys in a video hopefully join the week and peace